Hey guys, welcome back to Memo Makes. This time we got a Honda Civic for you guys getting a stereo system. It's an early 90s, mid 90s Honda Civic hatch. It's the, uh, well, they only made two door hatchbacks in those years. Um, I believe it's a generation five Honda Civic. Uh, it's a really beautiful car. It was in mint condition when this customer got it. Now all he did was put some rims on it and then we went ahead and uh, redid the stereo system. It had a stereo and some speakers in it. We are going to be dropping a full amplified system, a basic system, a, a run-of-the-mill installation, but nevertheless we're going to take you through it. Hope not to bore you to death. Uh, we'll see you at the end. All right, guys, so here it is Gen 5, I believe, Honda Civic hatch, pristine condition. One of those unicorns you hardly ever find anymore. I'll show you a few shots of it so you see the condition of it. Uh, customer found it somewhere, I don't know where. All he did was put these rims on it so far, but you see the interior and the exterior in excellent condition. I mean, besides the rims and the stereo, nothing's been done to this thing. It's a, a total jewel. All right, so here we're going to install the amplifier here. There is no safe place for the epicenter behind the dash or under the uh, front console. So um, we're going to mount it under the driver's seat. So we're going to remove this console, so we're going to put the uh, control knob right here for the epicenter, and that way we can easily jump over the wiring for the other one, and that way we can guide the wiring through the center console. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. there here's the uh, power wire or enough slack so where we can hook it up to the uh, circuit breaker which will go on here and it goes into that rubber grommet there we go you can see that there so it's a factory rubber grommet comes out the other side
Alright guys, so we've brought all the wiring to the amplifier. We've got power, remote, round, grounded it right here to this post. Stripped off the paint, put two screws in there. In case one wiggles loose, you have the other one. And then the power wire goes to the front. The rear speaker and sub wiring goes towards the back. Got the RCAs hooked up right there. Um, we're going to guide the rest of the wiring up towards the stereo, through the bottom of the carpet, up to the stereo area right there. And uh, we've got the epicenter control knob wiring here. We're going to install it right up here by the uh, emergency brake. So amongst all this spaghetti wiring, we've got the RCAs, all three sets, front, rear, and subwoofer. We've got the uh, two front speakers. We've got power and ground for the uh, epicenter device. We've got remote for the amplifier and the epicenter. And we're going to tap those into the uh, connections for the speakers, power, ground, and remote. And then we'll tuck everything back into place, zip tie it up to where it's nice and clean. And I'll show you once I've got that. Okay, so we've got all the wiring here. This is the connection for the stereo, the RCAs. And the antenna. Everything else is hooked up, tucked away. Everything's guided to where it's going to go. We're going to secure these down with zip, some zip ties right here. Make them all kind of a linear. Now it just looks cleaner. And then these that go on this side, we're going to tuck right here. So we're going to put the stereo back in. All right, folks, we got the stereo back in. We haven't put that trim in in case we need to pull it out. We'll put that trim in once it's fully done and tested got that front lower dash and we got the uh, front section and rear section of the uh, center console already done we got the uh, base control knob right there amplifier run right under here we're gonna continue and set up the rear speakers in their place we're gonna modify the rear well it'd be kind of like a rear dash it goes right across here it's removable and we're going to put in a watertight connection in case you want to remove it. Um, it's a best place for speakers without major modification. Uh, I can't remember but I think in these panels here there used to be speakers but only if you optioned them out since the grill isn't there it's it's harder to shape a grill to that shape than it is to put them back here in the back. Basically what it is is we're going to have these speakers here like that there and if the customer wishes we can paint them to match you know gray them out so that there is uh, no discern no distinction there we're going to go ahead and make the holes for them here and uh, we'll bring you back for that so that's what it looks like guys Pretty cool looking. It's got a little uh, inward dish. And uh, we're going to do the other one. So there's both of them in place. Now, what we are going to do is, we're going to flip this over. And we are going to run the wiring from the one that's going to be on the passenger side down towards I mean on the driver's side down towards the passenger side where we've got the where we're going to connect right here we're going to have a, a connection to where you can quickly remove these so that's it guys basic install four speakers subwoofer amplifier stereo is already installed but we went ahead and rewired it I didn't like the cleanliness of the connections base knob right there by the seat Amplifier under the driver's seat. Well, you can't see it there, but trust me. It's under there under the passenger seat The sound processor or epicenter Is under the driver's side We've got Twelve inch kicker L7 
kicker six and a half in the back dash. Back dash is removable, so we put a quick connect plug so that you can remove them and unplug it. Let's see the can come to life. And, um, well, I mean, no point in showing you the sound. I'll do it anyway. The music doesn't really come through on the recording. Somebody else is bumping in the background there. That's not this one. Pristine interior. Yeah, I still smoke. Yeah. That's just level 14. I don't need navigation. I know where to go. 85 on the highway. Up in the troll. Move out the way if you go into slow. There you go, guys. That was the install. Um basic installation on a very nice car hard to find these cars in such good condition anymore uh, i hope i did justice to you uh, honda civic fans i know there's quite a fan base to these vehicles uh, i hope i didn't uh, mangle up the name or what you call this vehicle in the, within the honda circles uh, anyway come back to us uh, watch some of our other stuff we got a lot of stuff coming up see you on the next one